Okay, 2019 Honda CRV air conditioning. And this is YF refrigerant. Let's see if our Apple focus. And we have 485 grams YF refrigerant. Just a little over a pound, one pound, point zero six nine six I can't remember a really small amount over one pound and we have 2019 yes 2019 model so it's only 65 degrees outside so it's a cool day and there's absolutely no sun load because it's undercover under a garage so this is what this Honda CRV looks like we got a high side of 106 PSI. If I could get the glare out of your eyes, we got a low side. But who gives a shit about that? That doesn't mean anything. On this one, and this is the same thing, superheat and subcooling could be different. They're different under different loads, uh, different temperatures, different vehicles. Same goes with pressures. Pressures are different. I could have, a, say, a 1989 Mercedes uh, BMW right here the high side pressure will be able to go up to 270 PSI. And we can have these vehicles operating side by side. Why? Because the manufacturer manufactured them that way. Our suction line temperature coming out of the evaporator is 34 degrees, 34.9, 34.8. Our liquid line temperature is 78 degrees. Remember it's 60, what did I say, 65 degrees outside right now? And I'm taking the temperature after the heat or before the for the suction line here on this one, I'm taking it right out of the evaporator. For the super uh, subcooling, I'm actually it's getting subcooled through the cool liquid, going through the internal heat exchanger, and over here. Let's take it onto the other side. It's a cool day, so it probably won't make a big difference. 10 degrees subcooling, so let's grab it at the other side. Now we're on the other side of the liquid line, coming out of the internal. Let's see what it is. Only 12. So under these ambient conditions, that's the difference. Almost nothing, two degrees. Uh, our out the dash temperature, 37 degrees. Hey, I thought I was data logging this. Okay, I guess I wasn't. But we're 37.1 degrees coming out of the dash. As you can see, there's the thermometer taking the temperature and of course, we are cold just like we should be. And that's it. I'll see you guys later. Just wanted to make sure that you can see how a Toyota CRV can operate depending on load conditions in different conditions because everybody doesn't do their recharge and testing under the same ambient conditions. Like if I if it was high noon and with a strong sun, and if this is a vehicle that has a sun load sensor, I don't know. If it has one there and our ambient air temperature is higher, off the ambient air temperature sensor located right there. See that right there? That's the ambient air temperature sensor. So if you have a sun load sensor and you take a hair dryer and pull it away, so you use a thermometer and try to get it to about 100, 100 degrees, 105, so you get your hair dryer, not a heat gun, a hair dryer, and try to pull it away where on your inner dash you can read about uh, 100 degrees off your dash reading off this thing here and then if you have a sun load de detector uh, especially if you're on body shop and you have one of those really bright lights for looking at the color of glass they're really bright go over to your sun load detector and put your your bright light and I mean really bright light oh there's the sun load detector I see it right there put your bright light into the sun load detector and uh if you have a inner temperature sensor, let's see if they have that little vent. So shit, I'm in the darkness here. I can't see. You look up your manuals, but sometimes you'll see a little square or little round opening somewhere. And sometimes they're underneath, but you'll see a little opening with a little grill. And if you flash your light, you'll see a little bead in there or a little probe that looks like an ambient temperature sensor. And some have humidity sensors now too. And you blow your breath or you get a hair dryer and pull it way, way back and try to put your uh, thermometer right here and try to get a temperature of say, make the, make pretend the interior was 110 degrees, it was in the desert. 
And so you heat up that uh, temperature sensor, you heat up the temperature sensor out there, you put a really strong sun load light right over the sun load uh, sensor. And if you had your scanner hooked up, you would see the duty cycle to the, the compressor control valve start to increase and put a high output of the compressor and then you'd see your pressures go up and everything like that. Uh, that's a way of tricking some cars. Okay, that's it for now. I gotta run off to the next one and I will see you guys later.